Uh, this is gonna be a demonstration, uh, proper technique uh, for climbing for beginning students. Uh, we'll go through the motion of how to set your climber going up the pole. We'll go through the proper technique and motion of how to set your climber uh, coming down the pole. We'll do a circle uh, demonstration and we'll also uh, demo how the buck squeeze uh, prevents a fall. First thing I'm gonna do is all, always, we always think about personal safety here. So every, every time we do a task or do something, we've got to have our personal protective equipment on. Uh, we want to do a self check each time before you start any kind of task or work. So we want to go head to toe, be consistent with that inspection, head to toe, hard hat, safety glasses, chin strap, leather gloves, proper clothing, proper footwear. And with that said, what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is put my climbers on and show you the first uh, task that we'd like you to do as a beginning student. So when you put your climbers on, proper way to check their own properly, bottom strap, the buckle is forward, top strap, the tongue on that pad is forward. Do not trap your pant leg. You see I pulled my pant leg up. Top strap needs to be secure, not overly tight. Bottom strap, pretty tight. So again, put your foot in the sole plate there. Top, top uh, climber pad. The tongue is forward. Bottom strap, the buckle is forward. When you, when you put your bottom strap on, ensure that you get the strap around high on the heel. It's important. Do not trap your pant leg. So what I'm gonna do is just show you the proper technique or motion going up the pole. And it's all, it's none of this. You don't wanna, you don't wanna go, go from here to there, that's the slap. None of this, that's a kick. It's just a upward motion and step down on it, put both hands behind the pole, step up, lock your leg out. Reverse that procedure. Remember, no slapping, no kicking. It's just straight up, pretty much straight down. You're aiming for the center, for the heart of the pole. Both hands here, just step up, step down. And then once, once we get that perfected, we're gonna let you put your, or we're gonna have you put your uh, climbing belt on. Do not leave the floor, just stand on the rubber mat and practice all the adjustments. When you put your tools on, get that gut strap nice and tight. Climbing belt should be about three, and three to four inches below your belt line. Should go right across the top of your buttocks, not, not down over your buttocks. Okay, so we got a secondary safety, and then we have the fall restriction device, which is a Buckingham Super Squeeze. So I'm going to go ahead and discuss how you would, would stow your tools, and you can see how I'm going to take them apart. When I come down, I'm going to restow them, and this is the way we'd like to see you do it. Keep your Buck Squeeze on the tool belt. About a $600, four to $600 item here. So come off here. Go here, carabiners, gate out. Make sure the gate is out. Roto snap. So, I've got everything unstowed from my D-ring. Go to the pole, brown strap is fully extended. So you wanna pass it around, do not. Do not throw it, pass it around to yourself. 
Bring it around in front of you where you can work with it. Connect it back together. Get your proper adjustment. And the adjustment is the three rivet pattern at three and nine o'clock. Three o'clock or nine o'clock. You can use it left-handed or right-handed. Then the other side of this adjustment would be with the roto snap. The, it has an indicator on it. If the indicator is not there, it's the hinge side of the roto snap. So that would either be at three or nine o'clock. So, you know, that's, that's the proper adjustment. And what we'd like to do is have you do all the adjustments on the ground before you start climbing. Once you start climbing, you're gonna be using all these adjustments. So, if I need to get closer to the pole, I can get this uh, inner green strap, put my hand on the buck squeeze, stand up, relieve a little bit of tension, pull the tail, and that moves me closer to the pole. If I wanna get a work position back from the pole, lean forward, grasp, grasp the uh, web cam or the web grab, press the webcam forward and lean back. And that would be how you would relieve that tension. Um, if, if you have to uh, take, your, take your buck squeeze uh, or relieve your buck squeeze on a transition, you just lean forward, put a little slack in it, grasp that, that web grab and pull it out. And here's how you would grasp it. You put two fingers behind it, push that, push that webcam forward. That's what relieves the tension. Okay, going back, get my proper adjustment at three and nine o'clock. Secondary safety is what you use to transition. Jim's gonna drive the screwdriver in and we'll show you what we'd like for you to do. I'm right not going to. Well, you can do it a little, right about there. It's fine. Okay. Yep. So this is, a, this is a demo on how you would transition, and we're going to just do it very low. Don't want you to go up too high until you get this practice. So I'd be climbing the pole. I will step up here, take my buck squeeze, as close to the obstruction as I can. Take my secondary lanyard. Go around behind the pole. Stand up. Put my secondary above the obstruction. Important to go above it, whether you're going up or down, whether you're transitioning up or down. The purpose of the Secondary uh, uh, safety above that obstruction. If you cut out, you can't fall uh, more than about two feet. So to relieve my buck squeeze, here's, here's what we like for you to practice. Make sure you can do this. You have to stand up, relieve that tension by pushing it forward. Push that cam, cam buckle, cam grab forward. Take it loose. Pass it around to yourself. Bring it up through your secondary safety. If you have to step up, you can step up. Pass it back around. Connect back together. Readjust. For, for total control, we ask that you put your hand behind the pole on the buck squeeze. For total control, so I'm above my obstruction. I got my buck squeeze back, which is my fall restriction. Stand up, take your secondary loose, stow your secondary, and climb up. I'll climb up about 10 feet, circle left, circle right, and demo the, how the uh, buck squeeze will catch you if you cut out. Proper, tech, proper technique going up. Toes out and up. Note my positioning of my feet. They're on the outer quarters. Should be, if you split the pole dead center, you come out here, your, your climbing position is dead center of those quarters, okay? If your toes are hitting a pole, you got improper 
uh, technique. You want to keep those toes out and up. Knees straight. I'm not saying lock them out, but you want to keep your knees fairly straight. That helps keep your toes out and up, okay? So I'm going to demo if you cut out. The buck squeeze is going to restrict your fall. Here's how you're going to find yourself. You're going to be hanging like so. So how do I get back? Put your hands either inside the buck squeeze or just outside of it. Just push out and walk right back up. Now I'll demo, um, I'll demo up here how to, how to change work position. So if I want to get closer to the pole, I just get here. If I have to put past a rope or anything, I can get really close. But this is a temporary position where I can pass the rope around. I get that a task completed. I want to move back. So I'll put my hand on the buck squeeze and move away. Um, to, to add more green on the pole, and here's what we're talking about. If we, if we ask to readjust your uh, super squeeze, and we say put more green on the pole, here's what we're asking for. Grab the brown, which is the outer strap, hand on the buck squeeze, lean forward, and just push the strap around. And you can see I'm, I'm back in adjustment. Okay? So I'm going to get away a little bit. I'm going to demonstrate circling. I'll circle left. Right foot will come up uh, about four inches towards the center of the pole. Step to the left. Rotate the buck squeeze. Step to the left. Rotate the buck squeeze. Step to the left. Note, when I'm setting the climbers, it's, it's no kicking, no slapping. It's what? And that's the downward motion right there. That's how you climb down and properly set your climber. So I'm going to go back to the right. Left foot's high. Right foot is just step around. Rotate the buck squeeze. Step around. Note how the, the right foot, how I set the climber. No kicking, no slapping. It's that, that basic. And that, that is the proper way to set the climber on the way down. So I'm going to climb down. Thank you, Jim. And as we discussed early, you know, grab it here, press the cam, uh, uh, grab forward, relieve, relieve it all the way out. Bring the brown all the way out. Pass it back around the pole. Reconnect. The brown web grab back, back in the uh, roto snap. Store the roto snap on the D-ring as so. Take the carabiner off. Move it over. Stow it on your D-ring. When you walk back up to the pole, you got two steps. You move the carabiner to your left D-ring, take your rotor snap loose, separate it, and you're ready to go. You're ready to climb.